All right, internet, I got a new HSP turbo inlet. Got the old one sitting over there, obviously the new one's in, but I wanted to show the internet uh, how I did it. So first thing, cold air intake, I got the SMB, take all that off. And then I actually didn't do it until about halfway through, but I ended up moving, slap that guy over there. This creates a little bit more space to not only lay down, but uh, just more more room, essentially. So, top bolt, the old bolts look like this. Okay, so they're a 10 millimeter. There's one right here on top. One, let's see if I can get some light. If I can get some light down in there. One right there, see if it'll focus. And right there. And then the other one is right down there. Let me get my hand out the way. Right there. You should be able to see it. That one's obviously not tightened yet because I haven't got to that point yet. But what I did was top bolt, this one right here. I just used a 10 millimeter wrench. Um, I got that guy right there. I actually had to flatten it out, so I heated up the uh, rounded end, smashed it, flattened it out. Got that one. Same thing with this one. Right there again. All I did was take the wrench, get it on the end of it, kind of worm its way out. It took me about 15, 20 minutes for those two bolts. And then the bottom one. Right. I'm trying to show you so you can see it multiple times. see it right there i got my light on it now right there the one's not quite in yet um all i did was take the inlet side and i kind of propped it up over there i had it kind of jimmied around and then i did the same thing got the uh 10 millimeter wrench flattened on the end of it and just kind of wormed its way out so now putting it in uh, the turbo inlet flashlight off i took a little bit of uh you're supposed to use petroleum jelly but i just used some aquaphor that i had and i that has the um the circle gasket it doesn't have the one that goes like over the screw so it kind of sits in the uh, inlet so i just took a little bit of that to keep it from falling down in the turbo valley in there oh shit it's not even focused there we go and then kind of wedge its way in there. The bottom two screws, um, it sits in like a gap. It sits like this and then they clamp down. So I took the bottom two, kind of screwed them in a little bit. Got the turbo mounted up on there. Not the turbo, <laughs> I fucking wish. Got the uh, inlet mounted down in there and then take the top bolt and I used magnet. And you just kind of fish it through there. At the time I hadn't flipped that, so it was still kind of difficult. But just use the magnet, and if you drop any of them down in the valley in there, it's not super deep, so you can just use your, your magnet to get up in there. But um, lights, I got my light wedged up in there with a zip tie. Uh, tools, screwdrivers, 10 millimeter. You don't need sockets. I literally didn't use a socket for uh, anything, actually. Um, everything was pliers, um, locking channel locks, everything like that so i got those top two bolts like i said this one's pretty easy once you oh, let me get a focus on that that one's pretty easy once you uh get everything kind of out of the way up here and then the bottom one oh this was what i was meant to show so i took the allen key all right so here's your allen key and i stuck it this way and that bolt like i said is right there you can actually see it so i came Kind of behind over here there's a little gap right here where you can kind of fit your hand let me see if i can get it through there yeah perfect and i just did it like that and i gave it about a quarter turn and it actually worked really really good so i got those top two bolts i'm gonna continue working on that bottom one i'm kind of doing the same thing i have some uh channel locks up there all i'm doing is just locking them on the end and then just using that as an extension and then you just inch it, inch it, inch it. So, 
If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments below. Damn, that is not focusing. There we go. But uh, I got that pretty much done. I just got about 10 minutes left to bolt that guy up. Then I'm gonna throw everything back in and we're all good. All right, so quick update, getting everything put back together. Um, so I started with this hose um, that goes down in there. There is a clamp on the end of it. You just squeeze it with some um, long needle nose pliers. Got that guy back in, got my turbo hose back in on this side got that tightened down and i moved to the mass uh that's not my mass airflow sensor um one of the sensors don't know which one that one's for <coughs> excuse me got the sensor screwed back in um got the plugged back in then i moved to the uh piping got it back in i moved the uh clamp over to the end before I put it on and then you can kind of put it on and then tighten it makes it a lot easier got that guy tightened down and then uh, I moved up here to the front moved it back over got your one two three four bolts put back in and then your two sensors this one and that guy got that guy back over there next I'm going to put my belt back on um, so obviously you have to take it off so if you didn't know right there where it is you just take a breaker bar or a cheater bar and you pull up on it and then you can put your uh, belt back on the end and I'll update you here in a second okay so got the belt back on got it wrapped around got everything straightened up got a little bit of coolant there and take care of get cleaned up um, got my intake back on need to put the lid on I got the uh, screws and everything over there but um I like to go over make sure you button everything up kind of just make sure all your sensors are plugged in everything's tightened down everything that you touched is tightened and nothing's loose check the top make sure you don't have any tools and uh, check the front make sure everything's good up there and uh, yeah that's what it looks like it's in there now and sweet.